What is up guys, it's Mike Chimum here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the playthrough Baliar Gothic 1 episode 6 and in this particular episode we're gonna do the uh, Nyres and the Focus Stone quest as well as the Mine Crawler Queen Eggs so without further ado guys, let's begin Master Iberian. Now since I have joined the old camp, I am only allowed to purchase my gear at every chapter at the old camp. I'm allowed to, you know, as soon as I... Stop! You can only enter the Temple Hill if you have a Guru's permission. I'm not listening to all the, the novice Lester sent me. I shall offer my services to Iberian. Lester is trustworthy, I know him. You may pass. Thank you. And next time, don't interrupt me, please. But since I'm, I've joined this particular site, the old camp, I'm only allowed to purchase at the old camp. But let's say at some point, I will um, first have to try something before I'm going to actually join the water mages. But eventually, I will join the water mages, which means that I also joined the new camp, which allows my character to uh, purchase at the new camp. So if a character is undecided, I can purchase everywhere, you know, and uh, if it isn't undecided yet, if he chose a certain side, then, you know, um, I'm only allowed to go to a Camp Pacific um, areas to purchase at. Of course, if someone at other NPCs, like um, someone in the sect or someone in the new camp has something that I really need, like ore, um, maybe some rune magic which I can't find anywhere else etc you know then of course I have to purchase them but uh, preferably when it comes to swords um, especially swords I'm only allowed to purchase specifically at the old camp so that means that the mercenary well the rogue mercenary can only purchase in the new camp weapons is weaponry you know each chapter each side has a certain best weapon and every chapter that weapon will be, you know, there will be a new weapon. Every, you know, camp has their own kind of weapons. Sometimes they are kind of similar, but old camp has mostly swords, while the sack camp eventually will have hammers, you know, etc. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's talk with Iberian, get the quest flowing, and get the job done. Shh. You're not allowed to talk to us. Greetings, Master Iberian. Ah, I know your face. Impossible. We've never met before. But I thought, well, what do you want? I heard you were looking for something. That's right. We need a magical focus. We sent the novice Nyras to collect the focus, but he hasn't come back yet. You could check up for me what has happened. Why is the focus so important? It is a magical object which can concentrate our spiritual powers. It is one of the five focus stones used by the mages to erect the barrier. In a vision I saw that we need to use the power of the focus. Sounds like quite an interesting vision. My vision was a sign from the sleeper. We can reach him with the focus. Where shall I begin to search? Leave the camp. Turn right and go up to the tall cliff. Go beyond the forest until you can see the sea. There, you'll find the focus. It's uh, kind of next to the skeleton tower, as I like to prefer to call it, and fog tower, how people on the gothic world, you know, on the gothic forums, specifically for gothic, they call it the fog tower, but I personally call it the skeleton tower because it's filled with skeletons. And if you open the last Romanian book, there are some more skeletons, you know. I'll bring the focus back. Take this map. The location of the focus is recorded on it. 
but uh, most likely that I will complete uh, the Romanian books in this one particularly um, I've also completed it at the uh, playthrough of Adenos if you guys are curious and you want to check that out you can use that particular playthrough to uh, guide you to uh, the perfect moment where I collected it um, I, I didn't show it on the map which I will do with this one but um, if I don't eventually need XP anymore then it's gonna be kind of pointless but uh, I will try to complete it but if you're looking for it specifically, uh, check out the playthrough of Adenos and uh, check the descriptions, it will guide you perfectly to each and every single book, keep out of it. It was which is about six. I've come to collect my daily rations. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once! You gotta puff them away, man. You shouldn't believe everything you to yourself. Very people don't like them. Maybe. No, I don't think Gorkalom has anything. Um, so I'm not allowed to go to the smithy, at least not to purchase a better weapon. I am allowed, though, to purchase some of his steel and uh, make swords out of that and trade that back for ore. But keep it to yourself. I'd like to trade with you. Good. Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. 400 ore now you know since I'm now in, in chapter 2 the best weapon for this specific camp would be the stone crusher however I didn't purchase it back with the path of Enos due to a morning star which is a two how many damage less two damage less and 12 strength requirements more you can also find this one in the old mine but, you know, as a second member camp, I will purchase my weapons with this bugger. As a uh, rogue, I will purchase my uh, slash mercenary. I, I will purchase my gear, my swords. At, um, what was the bugger's name again? Sharky or something like that. And, uh, with this one, it's gonna be a skip. But I am allowed to purchase things that are not p purchasable in other camps for example you know with this guy i will not go bow or crossbow but with my playthrough of venus for example you know um wait one second rely on somebody which one won't happen again was the uh it was either one of these i don't know but yeah fuck it i lost it again people always talk Probably will come back at some point, but at the current moment, I'm blank over. Well, there was a time when things would have gone. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. There we go. Thanks, bugger. All right, so let me quickly make some weapons. In the meantime, I'm gonna think about what I wanted to see. I don't know, guys. Cool me now. It will pop up at some point, you know. But for the current moment, no clue. the crossbow right with my uh, playthrough of Enos I wanted to purchase the crossbow because the crossbow belongs to that particular character the only thing is the set camp does not sell any crossbows and at some point you know the free mine will be under attack the, ma the fire mages will be assassinated and thus you know everybody will be locked out out of the old camp and uh, that's required no, that will make one of the guards go outside the old camp and stand near Cavalorn. He will sell you crossbows and such and can train you in crossbows. 
which means that he is, yes, he is a member of the old camp, but due to certain certain situations, you know, um, he left the camp and thus I can purchase at him, plus the fact that I needed the crossbow, you know, for that particular character build more. Only if it's important to the character and not obtainable at a certain camp am I allowed to purchase at it, and the same with if it's needed, if it's useful, like certain runes and such, and I also have to do it. Um, and uh, if I join and merge with certain sites, it will allow me to do it. You know? Dun dun dun. All right, so let's get Nyres and kick his ours. I'm gonna kill him. You know, as a I think I did that with multiple paths, but I'm not sure. But I can't, I'm gonna kill the bugger. But keep it to yourself. He's gonna die. To Let me check, by the way, what the current in game day is. So it's day four. Because when it reaches 7, I have to go to the old camp to see if Steam really removed the in-game festival thing. Because uh, in every playthrough I try to get it, you know, in my footage. Um, but I never really understood the true meaning behind the event. And I think that most gothic players had that issue because people thought for a very long time and I did too I'm not gonna lie um, that due to a certain moment the event will be triggered it is true that will it will be due to a certain event but it's not the event that you think it is which is going to the minecrawler queen you know um, it is actually the seventh day within the game. Literally, the seventh day within the game. It doesn't matter how far you are in the game, but every seven days, in game days, the festival will appear. So I'm gonna check if it does appear. If it does, I'm gonna see if I'm allowed to participate in the, in the arena. Uh, probably not, but who knows, it's worth to try, and just to see whether Steam did or did not remove it. You know, I hope not, but uh, who knows. Oh, oh, I'm totally in the wrong direction. But, uh, yeah, the seventh day within the game. And if it doesn't work on Steam, you know, I recommend that you will pirate it or something. There are way, many ways to do so, or get a copy with just with the CD and uh, uh, check the seventh day in game there. And I will guarantee you that uh, the event will be going. And I personally thought for a very, very long time that it had to do something with you know, you go to the mine crawler's nest to kill the crawler queen, but before you kill the queen, you know. Um, a certain thing trigger the event to activate, which is not actually not the case. And at the time, many many years ago, my first playthrough of this game, um, when I had that event, which only happened to me about three times in the amount of 50 plus times that I beat it all three parts. Well, 50 is a bit too much. So, uh, so let's say 50. Divided by all paths. And then only gothic one. But um, at that moment, you know, when I was playing the gothic, which was a, a pirated version at the time, because uh, I, I bought gothic 2, you know, because of its cover, the dragon. And uh, I was like, hmm, looks interesting. Played it, fell in love with it, beat it all three paths, fell in love with it, and I was like, Mm, what happened before this game, you know? What is the game before this game like? And I pirate downloaded pretty much um, the, the, You know, Gothic 1 and uh, at the time, you know It must have been that I was at the 7th in-game day, in day And I went to the Crawler Queen Went out because 
you know, I couldn't beat the Crawler Queen no matter what I do, because I was weak, you know, I didn't know how to properly build my character, I just did things, you know. Okay, I need to um, uh, pickpocketing. Not gonna use it, but you know I will learn it. Uh, that kind of playthrough, which is always the kind of playthrough that you have on a blindish playthrough. You know, you just do something. And uh, I went to the camp. I was like, "What the hell? You know, wh what is this festival?" And uh, apparently, it has to do with the seventh game. Well, the seventh day in game, and not to a particular event. Although there are rumors that, um, at least I read on forums, that the Steam versions have removed those things. But maybe because people don't realize it has to do with the amount of in-game days. So what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to keep saving, etc. And uh, just keep an eye on the amount of days. And when it says 7, I will go to the old camp and see what's going on. Um, but be aware, make sure you do it before the fire mages are assassinated <clears throat> all right so let's talk with this booger scram you have no business to be here i'm searching for the focus unfortunately you're too late for that i've already found it and i'm keeping it for myself the sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool now I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars or gurus. Only me alone. Die. And nope. May the sleeper awaken. Goodbye. You messed with the wrong emissary. Alright, so let's d drop this focus stone back to uh, Iberian. And then we have to go for some crawler queen hunting. But, uh, uh, let me also explain you guys a bit on certain things that most people also don't know. Is that when you join the old camp, whether you join the fire mage or the guard, which is normally... You know, if you join the guards, you cannot join the fire mage anymore. And if you join the fire mage, you cannot become a guard anymore. Right? Um, there is a way to convert that and become both. I will show you guys in this particular playthrough. But if you join the old camp and Gomez has assassinated the fire mages, you automatically will be evicted. Because you are someone that has been traveling around a lot. And could have made efforts into the certain circumstances which Gomez will be triggered by, you know, to ransack the mine. Do not join the water mages at that point because there is a way to get back into the camp without the need to be slaughtered, without the need to kill everyone, which I will show you in this guy in this particular playthrough. Go to the free mine and go to Jackal, he will interrupt you, give you a letter to go to Gomez and with that letter you will be allowed to enter the old camp and um, basically do it a bit more peacefully you know, go to Gomez's face to face and kick his ass well, most people do not know about this quest, I didn't I didn't know about it, um, I found it when I was uh, searching a bit, you know, um, is it possible to uh, join both? Which was uh, kind of a few years ago, about two, three years ago I think, um, for my previous YouTube channel at the time. Couldn't find an answer for that, so I was like, you know, mm, I'm gonna, you know, see if I can make it happen. And, uh, yeah, it is possible. It is possible. But uh, there are sometimes uh, things that uh, even the most pro players do not know. And that's why, my friends, that's why I don't mind 
replaying Gothic over and over and over again. You know, um, on my previous YouTube channel, the one that got, uh, I'm going in the wrong direction again. But uh, my previous YouTube channel was hacked. I made about three cents in total, so I ho I hope the hacker, you know, had had a great hacking time. But uh, due to circum circumstances, I couldn't, you know, change my email address because of the fact that, you know, if you get an email address, you have to have a backup email address, which was what one, you know, which was the one from my mom, and um, she passed away. And uh, so I couldn't access that anymore unless I had to change it. But in order to change it, you get an email to that email address, you know, to see whether it's really you, you know. So I couldn't get that one any done anymore. So that's, I had to make a new one. And my YouTube channel was also connected to that. So I was like, hmm, I'm still logged in to YouTube, you know, and let me see if everything is uh, fine and dandy. And then I s saw an uh, email address that I would never make, you know, something with a le in it, like Le France, you know, no way I would do something like that in my email address, and I was like, fuck, I'm hacked, either way, my channel has been be hacked, you know, story, I yeah. had, I must say this correctly, I had all three, no, not all three, I think, I had at least two playthroughs, all three done of the Risen playthrough, Risen 1, all three paths, maybe two paths, um, but I think I did all three. Um, Gothic 1, I did all three paths, Gothic 2, I did all three paths, Gothic 3, I was working on the second path, nearly had it done, you know, uh, nearly had the first one done, and Gothic 3 takes quite a bit of time. And when I was hacked, I was like, mm, fuck, you know, I have to redo all this stuff or r try to re-download it and then re-upload to my new channel with all the timestamps, just copy-pasting, you know. But the downloading took ages, um, as well as the fact that re-uploading them took another age. So, uh, technically speaking, it took longer for all those videos to be re-uploaded to my new channel than to actually make them from the you know scratch make remake them from scratch which is what I'm currently am doing and uh, as soon as my channel gets hacked again I hope not you know I, I hope not honestly but uh, nowadays it's you know people hack people for the weirdest shit you know it's either hate or they just you know they think it's funny and shit but should it have happened, I would just re-download all these videos if I can still get access to it. And otherwise I would just get them from YouTube Converter, you know. Because uh, if, if the guy doesn't delete them and, you know, someone will hack me due to, uh, let's say, you know, he will hack me to, because of my videos and it generates money, you know. Currently doesn't, but, you know, maybe at some point. And they hack me and they keep the videos up just to generate free money for them. Well, you know, I can just re-upload them and say, hacked, that guy hacked me, man. You know, if I can get access to that channel, which I did with my previous one, I will wipe all the videos, just whoosh, gone, motherfucker. All of them, gone. But, uh, you know, I forgot to, to delete the old channels, which is kind of stupid. So if you type in Mikey to memory, you get lots of old channels, lots of it. And uh, pretty much all of them are mine. Not, and don't think literally all of them will be mine, but Mikey Tamemo Gaming Guides is mine, Mikey Tamemo's Let's Play, um, Him Rules is mine, I have many channels through the course of time, but the reason why I made a new one, you know, is to start fresh, to start clean, as well as not being inactive for, I was like four years inactive. And uh, that's when I decided, you know, since now I have the option to do it, let's do it and start clean, you know. And then my YouTube channel got hacked, karma is a bitch, and um, I have to redo everything and still doing it because I can and because I want to, because I do want to beat all possible pops on all possible playthroughs in every possible game on all options possible. Why? So that people can choose their favorite pops and still enjoy the playthrough make use of the timestamps that will be eventually there which will give me 
less a minute watched you know I'm just saying but I'm willing to make that sacrifice I don't need to earn 10 30 fifty thousand a month you know a couple of million a year fuck that if I can earn 5k a month I'm a happy man you know 50k is oh yo that's a lot you know what do I want to do with that money the more I earn the more the government's gonna say hey hey you earn you earn a lot you gotta but you gotta buy a bigger house you gotta make an investment because uh, you know there are people that cannot barely afford this so they're gonna push me you know to a better high-end house bigger which make it more probable for people to say hmm that guy looks rich let's rob him you know touche man touche but if if I do ever get super rich probably not you know I'm merely doing this as a hobby and uh, to entertain but if it should happen I will create a some kind of a company some kind of a company and uh, I will pay people to do time stamping I will pay people to create their own channels I will pay people you know especially when it comes to gaming that's where I will start and I will pay people to make intros outros for other youtubers so that people get food on their fucking table you know money is not that really important if you use it well you gotta use it well man but um let's continue because I still got the crawler queen to do the novice Nyrus has gone mad he said that the sleeper had talked to him and chosen him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair over it. Only we gurus in our years of meditation have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty sleeper. I found the focus. Excellent. You have done us a great favor. Now, take the focus back to Kor Kalom. He'll know what needs to be done. What about some kind of reward? Since you're not a member of our Brotherhood, I will reward you. Take this amulet as a sign of my gratitude. Your gratitude, my friend, is boundless. Dab to steal. This is gonna be my reward, guys. All this stuff. All of it. His gratitude, guys, is boundless. <laughs> I, I never saw that. It says shit. In total, that is a proper reward. Because I did them a favor, you know, I killed Nyras. They should be glad about that, it was berserked. Alright, so let's go to Core Colomb, get another 50 ore or so. Um, as a bonus reward and uh, I get also some uh, free uh, daily ration and uh, let's also go to Korkalom for uh, the mine crawler queen eggs and then we're gonna go to the old mine oh I forgot to purchase a better weapon I'm gonna do that along the way I've come to collect my daily you've all 
Well, was worth a try. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Mm, that wasn't very clever. That won't happen again. Mm, maybe let's talk about something else instead. What do you want? Ebarian sent me. I have the focus. Ah, the focus at last. Now I can study the magic of these artifacts. If I only had enough secretion. Damn! Secretion? Yes. As you must know, I produce the magic potions for the invocation of the sleeper. For this purpose, I need the secretion from the Minecrawler's mandibles. You know what Minecrawlers are, don't you? Yes. Very good. Speak on. Well, just a short time ago, I had a vision of the sleeper himself. He gave me a sign. He made me understand that there is a means other than the secretion from the mandibles. And he chose me to pass on this mission. You're not getting this mission from me. You're getting it from the sleeper. Impossible. Be silent, fool. He made me understand that the path I have embarked upon is right. But the means aren't strong enough. The right means can be found with the mine crawlers, but the mandibles are not sufficient. There must be something else. Have you never examined the mine crawlers? I mean, maybe there's another body part which contains more of the secretion. Of course, we have taken some mine crawlers apart, but only their mandibles seem to contain the secretion. There must be something else. Find their nest, and you'll find the answer. Rephrase it to yourself and you think about me, man. The answer is clear. Eggs. Where will I find the mine crawlers? In the old mine. What's the best way to fight the mine crawlers? There are Templars in the mine. They hunt the crawlers for their mandibles. Speak to Gornaved. He will help you. How can I find the nest in the mine? That's the hardest part of the mission. I can't tell you where to search nor what to search for. But the sleeper will be with you. Well, that's a comfort. Iberian said you'd pay me if I brought you the focus. Really? He said that? Well then, I suppose 50 ore should be enough. Looks like this might become quite a bloody adventure. Take these potions with you. I am not giving them to you because I want you to stay alive but because this task needs to be done. And thus I must stay alive. You can't you contradict with your own, man. Be a bit smarter. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. He's making too many portions. It makes him a bit dumb. Alright, so let's go to the old camp, get myself a better weapon, and uh, go to the minecrawler queen. Kick that bugger's ass, and uh, in the next episode I'm gonna join the guards and fire mages, both at the same time. However, fire mage will be a bit later. Um, but uh, I will still join both because there's a certain thing that you have to do in order to activate both of them. That's you know? really not. I'm not listening to. As long as I'm not listening to. You shouldn't believe. I'm not listening to. It wasn't very clever.
well, yeah, we're nearly there, guys, nearly. The only thing that I quickly have to do is get myself a better weapon, at least see if there is a better weapon. And uh, then I will go to the Koala Queen. Which is going to be interesting, but uh, I don't think this character will have issues with it. Because his strength is relatively high. For Eurytiel, I only need about 30. The only thing is that this guy will not wield Eurytiel. Um, he's gonna exchange the sword. Well, he's gonna destroy the sword basically to get the gem. So I can use the sixth circle magical capability. Wave of death, death of death, something like that. Which is, of course, belly arm magic. And since this guy is gonna support belly arm, well, he's building up towards the support. By certain decisions that he has made, which are predetermined. By his god, me. <laughs> I already have the best shadow guard's armor, so I can't get a better one. Um, but uh, since my character, like I said, has a pretty high amount of strength at the moment, not really that much, but uh, not bad, you know, not bad. Um, he's gonna have a little bit less problem with uh, the mind crawlers than my other playthroughs had because of their lack in strength. But yeah, we have uh, entered day 5 of the game. So two more in-game days and then we're pretty much done. Pretty much. Well, then the event starts, you know, so I'm, I'm curious. For Gomez. For Jomaz. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. Sure. Ah, come on, Snav, it's midnight, eh? God damn it. And of course it's night time. Yes, of course. People always talk. Let's talk about something else instead. Just checking if they mind. Wasn't very you know. clever. The last time I wanted to kick Bullet's ass and I picked up my ore, which I dropped inside the house. Right. He tried to kick my ass again. He killed me about two times. Those deaths are still counted, even though I reloaded to the previous point, you know, before the bugginess appeared. So let, uh, where's Hands that off! Hands off! For Gomez, who have we here? Ain't you the guy I baptized earlier? What do you want? You come back for more? I've come to stuff your big mouth for you. Well, come here and give it a try, Sonny. Don't listen to all the blathering. Welcome to death. I can't kill him, but I'm not gonna do that, not yet. Keep that for a later moment, hey. You'll be sorry for that. Ah, come on again, the bugginess. Let, let's just kill. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, that will only get me in problems. No, no, no. No, I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so let's see. Uh, skip. Where's our smithy? He's still here, good, good man. 
for Gomez. For Gomez. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. I bet you do, man. Hey, that sword he had was better. Thirteen. Forty-two damage, would you look at that? I say... For th Gomez! Thank you, uh, Bullet. I could do... I Thank you. Bye. Some people never learn. Trouble ahead. People yeah, always talk. People, people always talk. That wasn't very cool. For Gomez. For Gomez. I've got nothing to say. Oh, that's a shame. Like Alright, so let's teach though. this mind crawler queen a lesson. Same old story. Let's see if Bloodwin is still bumped. For Gomez. Ah. Hi, you've changed your mind, huh? Good. I've changed my mind. There now. You see? You and from. See ya. Don't. I can still give you all. I don't need uh, ten or I can miss that. You know, that greedy bugger. But he's bug free, which is good. Which made it really annoying in the beginning of the game. Hey, you can always do. Come on, buddies. Come here, man. No, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare to kill each other. Hey, mole rats. <laughs> Certainly could use a little light. There we go. I'm only going towards the uh, old mine, you know, and I killed a couple of critters along the way to make a bit of extra XP. Come here, bugger.
mine enough playing around, let's go to the old mine. Hey, what you look at that guys, a couple of mole rats. Never say no to XP guys, never. Even though this game has a relatively easy way to make XP, especially the Servant of Belly on my case. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, as a servant of Belia, I will show you the most powerful and the most easiest way to get some free XP. A lot of free XP. The only thing it will require is for you to sacrifice as many ore, as many stuff as you can get. To get as much, if not all, preferably all the more the better. Spell scrolls of summoning skeletons, summoning golems, summoning demons, army of darkness, you know, and just summon all the skeletons at once, you know, just keep drinking potions, summon them all, and then use wave of death, uh, GG guys. Instantly about 5 levels up, maybe depending on your own level when you do it, you know. Um, because the higher your level, the more XP it requires, but it's gonna give you a lot. So do the same thing same with the golems, do the same thing with the demons, and bam, easy XP. But keep in mind, they did remove it out of Gothic 2 and further on, so it's only possible in Gothic 1, but man oh man, does it make you a good amount of XP. With my other two paths, um, it could have been that I made use of it a bit, but not with Wave of Darkness. The other two paths wield Eurytsiel. Um, my uh, mercenary had it two-hander. Uh, my Enor servant had it one-hander, I think. I'm not quite sure. Is Eurytsiel? No, Eurytsiel is always two-handed. So never mind, you know. But uh, this guy will not wield Eurytsiel as the only three. As well as Gothic 2, my other two playthroughs, Enos and Ananos, you know, destroyed the claw. This guy is gonna wield the claw, and he's gonna be OP. For Gomez! For Gomez. Who had lockpicks around here? This guy has lockpicks. Hey, buddy. For Gomez! For Gomez. What should I keep in mind when I'm in the mine? Beware of the mine crawlers. The further you get down, the closer you get to the beasts, those rotten creatures come directly from Beliar's realm. You can hear them scraping and scratching. They're sitting in the dark just waiting for you. I've seen them kill. They're merciless and fast. If you enjoy being alive, you shouldn't be down here. You better go before something happens to you. I heard I could buy lockpicks here. Well, since you were brainy enough to find that out, you can have some. Ten or a piece. I want to buy lockpicks. Uh, let's see how much I can give him in return when it comes to junk. There you go, three profit. For you. You know, uh, good luck with some bloodfly stingers and uh, bloodfly wings. Enjoy. Now, since I'm a member of their group, they don't give a shit about me looting. Hands off! Hands off! Hands off! Yeah, that's that's how you get someone to Hand to stop locking. Hands them. off! Hands 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 off! Now normally they would attack you, but uh, since I'm one of them, only the thing that they say is Hands off! Hands off! It's just more annoying than it actually works, you know, but... Hmm, maybe Aleph can tell me where the crawler's nest is. Never tried that one before. Because uh, I always rat him out and didn't do it this time, so I'm gonna check. Probably not, but
for Gomez. Good luck. Well... See, he doesn't know. But of course, eventually this guy must join the Water Mages. Only then can he join the path of Beliar because it's all about the reunification of powers. Zardes is the top magician of the realm, the most powerful mage in the entire kingdom of Mirtana. He was also the one who managed to understand the ancient runes of Adanos, Enos and Balear, all of them. He doesn't teach you all of them in Gothic 3, but he does know all of them. Best sample is, he knows how to summon a demon, Balear, he knows how to summon Golem, Adanos, and he knows how to, you know, destroy a magic and whatnot, creating barriers, you know, all the things that he know he's the most knowledgeable one among all the mages and this guy is gonna follow his path with different purposes. Because all Zardas wants is to usurp the power of Baliar so he can control it and make sure that it doesn't fall into wrong hands. Technically speaking. You red. Heh, <laughs> you red. Hands off. Oh, you red. Hands off. You red. Red. You red. Hands off. Oh. Yeah, tell Gomez. I don't give a you shit. Red. Hands off. You red. Hands off. You red. You red. Hands. Free stuff, guys, is always nice. You red. Hands off. You red. You red. Hand. You red. You red. Hands off. I'll give it to you. <laughs> He's gonna give it to me. <laughs> For Gomez! There must be a nest of mine crawlers somewhere here. There are probably dozens of nests here. Listen, I need to get to this nest now. I don't have time to see to it now. Our masher doesn't work anymore. The gear wheel broke a few hours ago. I've no idea where to get a new one. Just get me a gear wheel, then I'll see to your problem. A gear wheel? Where am I supposed to get that? No idea. I'm as much at a loss as you are. But there's an old broken masher in a side shaft. Maybe you'll be lucky there. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. No worries, I got this. But keep it to yourself. Be I thought for a second, oh shit, I F me said, but good thing no. Well there was a time. Now this is going to be interesting. Alright, here goes nothing. Pretty well, I must say. Only one hit. Did quite enough damage, though. But I killed them fast enough, so in that regard, that's good. But uh, the damage is still insane. 
Queen uh, does about two times this damage. So the Queen one hit will be nearly dead, but it's really easy to kill the Queen. Especially if you just do left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You know, easy. I will show you in a bit. Because uh, at this point there's no way you, you have the capabilities of room magic yet. You could purchase, you know, scrolls and such, but it's easier to do it with weapons than it is with uh, magic, in my personal opinion. It takes a bit longer, but... I did not go rushing into anything. Alright, so let's get the uh, gear wheel, kick those crawlers that are arses too, and um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna reinvest as much as I possibly can, as quickly as I can, however I do want to join the circles of magic, um, and I'm not entirely sure that if I join both, will I also still be able to get guard's armor. Because Gomez's guard armor you cannot get, at least, as far as I know. But, um, maybe when I uh, talk with Gomez after getting the letter of for access to Gomez, when they took the free mine, which is at that point not so free. Because the forced first, the forced first circles, I have to learn through the fire magicians. The fifth circle is the water magicians, and the sixth circle is Zardes, which Zardes is the only one that can teach you circle six in Gothic one, which will give you the necro rope. <laughs> Alright, so let's drop the gear wheel to, what was his name, Ian, and uh, get that done. Now this ladder is bugged, you can try to get the top of it, but it's going to be more hard than actually doing this trick. But with this, it's better to have acrobatics, it's still possible to do without, but uh, you do have to time it right if you do want to do it without acrobatics. And I fuck, a lot, I fuck it up most of the time as well. Quite a lot actually. So he doesn't just jump. That's one of the fuck ups. Then one to jump again. Alright, so let's deliver the gear wheel so that Ian will tell us to go to the bottom floor and open the gate so that Ashgan will allow us access. I will only get two of the three Templars in this particular run because uh, it takes a bit longer to get the one on top here and it's really not necessary. You know, Ashgan and two Templars, GG. Let's see, uh, I just want to get as many For Gomez. as I possibly can. Especially early. I have the gear wheel. Hey, well done. I think that'll work. Now, what about you? You're looking for the nest of the mine crawlers. Hmm. Just go to Askan and tell him to open the gate so you can search the dark shafts. Just tell him everything's gonna be fine. Then he'll know that I've given you permission. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Alright, so let's go to the Grawler Queen, 
which is the final part of this particular episode. In the next episode, I will deliver them, as well as uh, join the guards and the fire magicians, both of which instantly, basically. Because uh, I have to, so I'm going to keep the learning points so I can enter at least the first two circles. Because as soon as I collected the focus stones and delivered them to Saturus, the mine, auto mine will collapse, and thus the free mine is under siege. You know, and that means that the fire magicians will be dead. And if they're dead, I can still learn it. You know, at the water mage, pr preferably I want to learn the first four circles with the fire magicians. For Gomez. There must be a nest of mine crawlers here somewhere. The whole bloody mountain is just one big crawler nest. Why have you closed the shaft? It didn't matter how many crawlers we kill, more and more just kept coming out. Sounds like there must be a nest somewhere near. Let me open the gate. No, this gate can only be opened with Ian's permission. Nothing will be done before. Hey Ashgan, you may open the gate now. I've already told you. Only if Ian... Ashgan, everything's going to be fine. And best regards from Ian. Well then, if Ian is responsible for this, but only under one condition. What condition is that? Just get me two or three tempers for support. I don't want to be here on my own when the crawlers come out of the shaft. You're not alone. I'm with you, you idiot. Well, fine. I'll get you some two, three tempers. I'll get two. One is near Ian, you know, like the uh, cave, little cave with all the crawlers that I exterminated. One is here, and uh, well, two are here actually. Gordon Akosh and Gordon Avid. I know where the crawler's nest is. I'm going there to get something for Kalam so he can brew a stronger potion. Then you'll need my blade. I'll join you. Good. We'll meet at the big passage. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I know where the crawler's nest is. Will you be there when the passage is open? When fighting crawlers, it often costs a lot of blood. If you bring me a healing potion, you can count me in. Here, maybe that'll help. Thanks. You can count on me. We'll meet down below with Askan. I'll be there. But first, let me get these crawlers here. and the better potions Corcolon will give, not that that's going to be useful and it's not going to give any XP, at least I don't think it does but I still do it because I can, you know it costs nothing to learn it and uh, might as well do something with it
so let's get the final uh, area over here and then we're going to go to the gates open the, the uh, gate to the nest and kill the buggers it's time to exterminate them stone crusher it's a bit weaker than this one but requires about 26 strength which is the one that you can purchase the best weapon that you can purchase at the sect camp but uh you know i'm not gonna wield it it's a little lesser damage than this one which i got from bullet kicking his ass you know for uh, punching me in the face when i was just arrived at the colony so you had it coming, you know. But uh, this sword deals about 42 damage, 43, something like that, for only 18 strength, and I have 41. So you know, my character's a bit uh, going to be a bit strong, but uh, at the end of the game, he's gonna get about 150 give it or take. Next to his main capabilities, you know, mastery one-handed, two-handed. Um, a magic circle six, but uh, plenty of XP to get around. All preparations have been made. The gate can now be opened. Okay then. Open the shaft now. We'll let the show begin. Let me pass. It's gotta be a piece of cake, I think.
Easy. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here and uh, get ready for the next episode. I'm really looking forward to play a Gothic 2, the path of Baliar, because there is some there is something I have to explain which concerns about the true chosen of Enos in my personal opinion. But that is for Gothic 2, you know, we're not close yet. Well we're about halfway through the second chapter. The last thing I have to do is to uh, get the Goblins kill the buggers. All right, so one as well. Hmm. I don't know how long this video already is. Oh shit! I forgot to talk to Ashcan. That will give me XP. Is. The minecrawler shouldn't be a threat anymore. That's good news. I'll just send a messenger to Thoris. Don't talk with the other ones, you know. I thought at least it would give XP, but no. So no need to bother talking to them. But uh, I will go to the exit of this mine and then, you know, start, uh, st stop the recording. Because uh, I think this video is already about an hour and a half. And I don't want to make it too long, you know. Um and you know what? You know what guys? Let's let's do let's keep it clean and uh I will join the water mage slash guards in this particular episode. Um and uh do the book the um how to charge a focus stone. So that we can basically... Mm, I'm, I'm still doubting a bit, you know. For Gomez! Because if this video is already like an hour and a half, it's gonna be two hours. And the longer it is, the cleaner it is, that's for sure. But the less likely people will stick around, you know. I found the nest! Then we'll finally have peace and quiet here again. <laughs> no offense. Good work, boy. Here, take this crate of beer for your efforts. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. I'm gonna do it the next episode. I think that's one cleaner, two better. It's gonna make the video a bit shorter, which is good. Um, because, uh, like I said, I already think I'm... Especially with all the talking that I did. Easy now, uh, easy now and have, you know. Um, so I'll just keep the adjoining the fire mages and the guards in the next episode as well as going to the sect camp, deliver the eggs and get the final one to get a book about how to charge a focus stone and then I will quickly go to the um um, the old camp again to quickly join the water mages, um, the water mages, the fire mages, and uh, because I will first join the guards and then later I will join the fire mages because I'm not quite sure if I could get armor with the guards if I'm still. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna test that. I'm good. I'm just gonna test it. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't. But uh, let me just test that out. Hey, you did a good job with the crawlers. You deserve to be admitted as a guard now. Just go over to the old camp and speak to Thoris about it. See ya. So anyways guys. 
I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna join the fire mages and the guards, uh, both of them, which is normally not possible but there is a trick, there always is, um, to get on both sides at once and um, that will be for the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this particular episode. If you do, leave a thumbs up. And if you didn't, leave, feel free, you know, to leave a thumbs down behind. Because any positive or negative feedback is feedback that I can use to improve my channel along the way. And uh, if you do like it, uh, feel free to uh, comment down below. Or if you didn't don't like it either, feel free to uh, comment down below as well, you know. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode and if you do like it subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell but be warned sometimes I will upload a lot and uh, that could cause for a lot of uh, pop-ups in the notification so if you will check on the database there's no really need for you to hit the notification bell but I do highly recommend it so I hope to see you guys next time and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the content and see you guys next time